camp. The robo camp runs for a week before the competition, and the kids run from one o'clock in the afternoon until eight o'clock at night. They're working together, they're cooperating, they're sharing their programs, and they're just having a good time, and they're getting to become one great big family. And that's a nice thing about IROC, which is different from most other competitions. Well, the school started putting on the robot competition about five years ago, and it was the brainchild of one of the teachers who imagined it to be like the international autonomous robot competition. Because um, most robot competitions, they're not, they, they don't rely as heavily on software and on code. So um, it's evolved over the last five years, but the current platform that we use, um, the middleware and the hardware have been designed by uh, volunteer teachers at the school. And so over the years, they've all collaborated, Vix an electrical engineer, and then we have a bunch of like really awesome software engineers that have made the platform and they and an abstraction so that it's easy for the kids to program. So the kids like only really need to have been coding for a few months and then they're able to work on the robot. And it's really awesome for them because a lot of what they do in the classroom is theoretical and then when they see like their code translated into the real world with real world problems and hardware challenges, it's really good for them to see that. But also, they're just, they just get so excited by robots and the robot competition. It's just, that's why we do it every year. It's kind of like part of the standard curriculum. From the universe of imagination. How's it going? Good. Just, yeah. So what are you doing here? Um, we're trying to figure out what's wrong. Why it's turning too much. You ready for the comp? Yeah. Uh, yeah.